Hello everybody and welcome back to Species, Artificial Life, Real Evolution. As you see, we're not in our little save here. Uh, quite unfortunately, it seems that as soon as we go to day one, everything just decided to stop working. Uh, which is really unfortunate, because I think that is the world that we've gotten the furthest on so far. Um, and yeah, it's quite unfortunate, but uh, we're gonna start a new one. So, Tank Plus, uh, have I pronounced that correctly, uh, the CSGO channel, suggested that I start with the Seed 3990. And uh, yes, that's a great idea. I, I actually saw the world size at 1, and it was pretty, a pretty good world. But, I got another suggestion. Firnan of the Ages, yes, I think that's it, um, suggested that I do a world size 3, and I think I'm gonna try that. I thought uh, we did we did a world size two and that was pretty big, but uh, yeah, I, th I think this is gonna be interesting. I hope uh, it works out. Uh, we are also yes, we're initializing from exported creatures. We only have two exported creatures, so just so that we start off with some kind of you know different variety or already some limbs and stuff, not just uh, the blank state. Even though it's fun to see. It see them develop, but the early stage is very similar, so I don't really want that. Oops, seems like the water level here started off quite uh, quite low, or are we just in the wrong pl Oh, no, we're just- oh, oh, sorry. We're, uh, we do have land here. It's just that the map is so large, oh my god, wow. Ah, and uh, Weber Kiwi, is that uh, correct? Uh, also suggested that I fast forward with you because that gives me ultra speed so it's good for AFK prog progression and the truth is I do do it uh, but of course I don't record um, the, the, the difference is that there's a one problem with that feature and that's uh, as soon as the numbers start capping for some odd reason the populations tend to uh, start f going down pretty pretty quickly which is uh, rather annoying um, and uh, yeah. Oh look, we start off with three major species, that's pretty cool. I hope they outcompete each other. Uh, yeah, actually, starting off with three different branches is uh, pretty interesting to see who wins out. Uh, but yes, so Ultra Speed is not really a thing I like doing because as soon as I go AFK, it might actually exterminate everyone on the world. Uh, so not very smart. Oh, also, a shout out to the Republic of History, uh, who's uh, a dedicated fan of the series and has been commenting quite uh, quite a lot. Uh, so yeah, shout out to you. Um, great to see people uh, so interested in this show. You see that, uh, yeah, there are a lot of forests, and that's because I put the density of the forest to 20 and the growth rate to 5. So... Um, yeah, it's gonna be pretty populous, and we might get a lot of herbivores, but the cool thing is that we actually seem to have some underwater plants. I don't know if they die out, but, uh... No, they're gonna grow. That's pretty cool. We might get some sort of amphibious... Oh, wow. Actually, the trees are going growing way too, too fast. Oh, and the adventurer has uh, suggested uh, that we have islands just like we have on our satellite map, map here, and that we make it hot. So I think uh, that's what we're going to be doing in this world here to begin with. Uh, but I just want to see the population survive first, then we'll, uh, then we'll raise the temperature. I'm also raising sea level so we get some more separation here. And then we'll uh, head out from there. Oh, I actually found a pretty cool camera mode. Um... Yeah, first person shooter. Yeah, we're like flying around, but I, I don't know how to k stay up. Do I? Yeah, but we see basically the entire world here. Uh, so that's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty sweet. What's this? Toggle thoughts shown. Okay. It's almost as if I'm playing the game for the first time <laughs> for some reason. I know it's been two weeks since we last, um, uh, since I last uploaded something, so sorry about the delay there. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm, I just discovered, like I zoomed out way too much, like I, I can right, right click and zoom out, so that's uh, pretty good. So from now on I might actually have a pretty big worlds because it, it's actually feasible. 
Oh no, our uh, is it the silent? No, it's a fossil. What's it called though? We don't have a name for it. Oh, well, too bad. Those ones are dead, so now we only have we have one dominant species of these guys, and we've got the furry ones still around. The uh, the silent spokesium spokesium. Um, Hypocala. Yeah, it's gonna, this is going to be interesting. It's a fight between these two. I'm raising the temperatures quite slowly here, but uh, I might actually have to lower the tree density and the growth rate. So I noticed an interesting pattern. It seems like uh, on all these major islands or continents, let's call them continents, but just, you know, they're pretty big. Uh, oh, no, I found a difference there. Uh, the These guys have taken, or the the lighter colored ones are taking over, but on this island the majority are uh, of the furry type, so that's pretty cool. For one second I almost thought that the uh, the trees here, the clay diagram, had they joined together somehow, but that's impossible, so yeah. Hmm, how do you join them together? If I do genetic modification, oh yeah, actually, someone suggested. I don't. Sorry for not remembering. It's in an er earlier video uh, that I do some genetic engineering and create a species. So I think I might do that now. You know, I've been thinking. One thing they should implement is like continental drift, maybe, or like not drift, but like the the game might. It'd be really cool if you had plates. So that, you know, you have these islands and somehow they move around, you can kind of guide their movement somehow. That'd be really cool. It's over. One species has dominated, or one group here. And it's the, uh, the light-skinned guys. Or not li uh, it's not light-skinned, they're the, the kind of pale mat in Swedish, you know, like, kind of lizardy. Yeah, the, the skinned ones, not the furry ones. These are the furry ones. They're dead now. So the genetic engineering, I have to remember how that's done. Not species selection. Hmm. Here we go. Pause, let's pause, let's genetically engineer this, this bastard. Oh, this is really cool. Skin type. Oh, yes. Uh, what are we going for? Something cool. Oh. This, this, no. This is pretty cool. 12. Ah, lizard. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Two-legged? Yeah, or not two-legged, but like erect creature? Yes, please. Hands? I think yes. Four hands? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's looking really cool. Brain. Hmm. How do we make it as intelligent as possible? This might work. It's a pity that this isn't a planned feature of the final release. Like, honestly, this is really cool. Neretu Penipo, yes, that's a pretty cool name. Time to import a creature. Neretu Penipo, number to import, let's say, 80 of them. And boom, there we go. So my game crashed as soon as I imported them. Maybe they were too many. I'm gonna import one at a time and see if it works. I'll try to keep them alive by fe feeding them and so on and so forth. Yeah, it keeps crashing. I don't know, maybe our creature is just way too weird. Uh, but I'm gonna try a couple more times. Oh my god, it's so big! Ah, I tried, I tried, I really did. Um, I think our creature is just too inefficient, so I might have to edit it one more time or something. Two surviving populations here. I think I uh, lowered the fertility way too much, so I raised it back up again. And yeah, this island is always so, so populated. Uh, but yeah, the whole gen genetic engineering thing is just not gonna work. Sorry, you guys. Uh, we might be able to engineer something smaller, though, uh, if that's an option later on, but uh, not right now. Is it, are they gonna die? Ooh, only one island with uh, life left. That's quite worrying. Perhaps it's time we lower the sea levels. I know it's only been one hour and 43 minutes of simulation, but, uh, well, screw it. They need to spread out again, don't they? 
I love seeing the trees sprout off here. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's gonna it's gonna be a beautiful world. Oof, so much open open space now. Look at that. One surviving tree family here and they split off into two groups. And that's because, as I'll show you here, south and north there, this might actually become a third one. I'm hoping that they eventually cross over these shallow uh, waters or sand areas and colonize the rest of the planet. It will happen as long as they survive. But I think 38, 40, yeah, we're, we're getting there. Yeah, it happened. There's been a really cool migration here. Um, they're f coming in groups over the water uh, to this continent here, so that's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to do one last try at importing my uh, beautiful, super intelligent, super inefficient creature. What I'm going to do, however, is, you know, it's not going to survive, but I will, I think I'm going to try to uh, do some gene splicing um, and see if their genes get into the population on both sides here. Uh, so let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. Seems like we did infect one here with, uh, yeah, this is uh, gonna be interesting. It's got hands, I'm hoping the best for its survival. I'm gonna feed it actually and see if it uh, gets around. Oh, they're so big. Look at that. And they're actually quite cool. They're big and cool. Yeah. I hope they survive, and they reproduce at pretty awesome rates because of my uh, genetic engineering uh, once they get enough food. Getting enough food, however, that's a whole other story, right? I'll have to kind of babysit all of them. I'm quite desperate trying to keep this population alive. Um, I tried, you know, putting them here, but that didn't really work out um, because, you know, there's competition. So I've moved over a specimen to this uh, uh, this corner here and it's kind of working oh these guys actually crossed but yeah uh, the rest of the world is kind of way too overpopulated at the moment oh I was keeping the, this group of alive here you know resuscitating their bodies and stuff and then I saw this uh, yeah the, po the original population from there, there is actually spreading out pretty quickly, so that's quite unfortunate. So I think our little uh, breeding ex experiment here didn't really work out very well, and I've wasted my time, kind of. But screw it, it's been fun. I think actually this is a pretty good place to end our, or today's episode at. Um, yeah, it's pretty laggy because of the population size, sorry about that. Ugh. Our clay diagram. It's it's paused, why is it oh it's auto saving now. Oh well, uh yeah. So uh we've got a pretty diverse clay diagram. Um coming down from one here. Uh we can see also where I inserted the our genetic mutation there. And try to make make it survive. Of course that didn't really work out. So, but but at least I think it may have spread, you know, some of the genes throughout the all of the population since I had it kind of uh, well distributed in the children or whatever we can call them. Uh, wait, are those still alive? No, those aren't actually. I was like, whoa, yeah, no, but it's pretty cool. We're gonna keep raising the temperatures and then eventually we'll raise the sea levels again so we can split off the population, and uh, yeah, I guess I will see all of you, oh, population history, is at, I saved it, so it's at zero, uh, see you all later, and again, also, uh, don't forget that if we get you 100 likes, I will release the next episode before the scheduled date of next week, thank you very much, farewell.